Hello everybody, this is another Hot Wheels Collector video. Today we're looking at the Porsche 928 S Safari. This is a brand new casting for 2023 and features in the 2023 N case done in this lovely silver colour. I will quickly mention where I actually found this car before we get into the actual fact about this thing. So I found it in a local Asda store for the price of £2.40. Just for reference, that is quite a high price tag. Places like Poundland, which is one of the cheapest places, as well as Home Bargains, which I think is the cheapest, sell that for £1.50, so that is almost one whole pound extra. However, I was willing to pay that extra price just because this is a new casting for one, and for two, this was in from the 2023 N case, which was literally super new, and I was really not expecting to see it, to be entirely honest, this early in the year. It's only September, and actually I think I found it near the end of August, so yeah, in fact it was near the end of August, so really early to see the N case. But anyways, that's enough about the story behind this car, now let's take a look at the facts about the real life car. So in real life, this standard version of the 928S had a 5 litre V8 engine. That produced 228 brake horsepower, 302 pound feet of torque, converted to 409 newton meters. This car was also a rear wheel drive and had a 0 to 60 in 5.7 seconds. It also had a top speed of about 152 miles per hour, converting to 245 kilometers per hour. The S model, which was the top spec model, had a starting price of $9,700. If we're talking about nowadays money converted, this would be about $36,000 and £29,000. All the way up to $14,000, which if we're talking about nowadays money, it's about $52,000 and £42,000. Now this car is valued at about $25,000 or about £20,000. But anyways, that is it for the facts about this car. Now let's get into my showcase of this thing. All right, so kicking off this showcase, we'll first of all take a look at the side of this car. And I'll first of all mention the wheel choice on this thing. So this car is rolling on the five spoke wheels, which were first introduced in 1995. And these are painted in a nice black color. That black color does match some of the tamper work on this car. The actual color of this car is painted in a silver color or essentially just a light gray done in a metallic look looks quite nice on this car, although I think some other colours maybe would have suited this a bit better. However, I am definitely growing to like it a little bit more. Initially, I was not a fan of the colour on this car, but I am starting to like it a little bit more now. Anyways, taking a look at the tamper work on this car, there is quite a lot of it. So first of all, we have the black 75th anniversary. Obviously, it is Porsche's 75th anniversary this year. We also have the Sparkle sponsor. If you don't know what Sparkle make, they make steering wheels, seats, etc. for cars. We also have these nice stripes, which are actually, I believe, the German flag, or that's what they're supposed to be, I believe. Um, so we have a black stripe, we have a red stripe, and we have an orangey yellowish stripe. It's more of an orange, to be honest. Then we also have the Porsche writing there done in black. You can see that there. And we also have the number three. The number three itself is actually just done by not tampering a certain area, and hence is just done in a silver color. And we do have a um, square around that number three which is done in black tampo. We also have the Bilstein um, sponsor found in black there. If you don't know what Bilstein create, they manufacture shock absorbers and suspension systems for cars. You can also see the Hot Wheels logo features on this car done in black. We also have some mysterious writing here which I'm not 100% sure what it says or anything. It's very hard to read. Um, that's just kind of how Hot Wheels tampo their cars. And when it's very, very small and fine writing, you just can't read it, unfortunately. The final piece of tamper work, which we do see on the side of this car, is the BBS sponsor. If you don't know what BBS make, they create aftermarket applications for cars. A few things I do want to mention whilst we're on the side is, first of all, you can see the mud flaps on this car are actually created using the black base plastic. I will also mention that you can see some door handles in the actual metal casting. And the front windows on this car are actually wound up. Anyways, that's it for the side of this car. Now let's move on to the front of this car. All right, so taking a look at the front of this car. There is a little bit of tamper work here, but I do have one big gripe with the front of this car. For some reason, the actual headlights do feature in the metal casting, which is nice to see. However, they don't actually receive any tamper. Yet, the actual off-road lights do receive tamper. That just feels really, I don't know, lazy and cheap from the Hot Wheels team to not do the headlights, yet they did the off-road lights. They are nicely done though, the off-road lights, and they do actually read Hela or Gila, depending on how you want to pronounce that. If you don't know what Gila make, obviously they make these rally off-road lights. 
But yeah, that is quite annoying. That's it for the temple work on the front of this car. We do have a little bit of detail in the metal casting. So we do have all the vents and grills of this car in the metal casting. And we also do see that license plate holder feature in the metal casting as well. There is no temple work on the hood of this car either. The only thing that we do see is some um, detail in the metal casting itself. You can see some nice hood lining, which is obviously where the hood lines up with the other parts of the car. Um, but that's really it for the details on the hood. No vents or anything like that. Anyways, that's really it for the front of this car. Now onto the next side of the car. Alright, taking a look at the next side of this car then. So I do want to mention a few things. Firstly, this side is the exact same as the previous, so I'm not really going to bore you with going over all the temple work, etc. But a few things that I did miss out on the other side is, this casting does not feature any wing mirrors. That is unfortunate, however, the one on the actual car dart also does not feature any wing mirrors. So maybe kind of Hot Wheels removed them on this design of the car as kind of an aesthetic thing. So I really can't complain about it because it might be some kind of modification that they've intentionally done on this off-road variant of the car. It seems like that might be the case. So I'm not going to allow that to affect the score of this car on this occasion, of course. One thing that will affect the score of this car, though, is this casting does not feature any windshield wipers, unfortunately. That is not a huge thing to be missing. However, when they do add it to the cars, it does add that extra level of detail. And it is unfortunate that they don't feature on this casting. That is probably going to affect my score by about 0.5. And yeah, that's really it for the side of this car. As I've said, it's the same as the previous, so I'm not going to bore you with it. On to the rear of the car, then. Okay, so taking a look at the rear of this car, there is no temple work here and there's really not a whole lot of detail to go over. So the first thing I do want to mention is the rear lights of this car are actually created using the window plastic. Obviously that window plastic is made to represent the glass of the real life car. But yeah, that is literally all the details on the rear of the car. One thing I do want to mention is obviously the diffuser as well as the lower section of the rear bumper is created using the black base plastic. And I will also mention that the license plate holder also features in the black base plastic section of this rear bumper. And one final thing you could see if I flip the car over is the exhausts on this car are actually created using the black base plastic as well. These exhausts are absolutely minuscule so I will zoom this video in on the editing of this. Anyways that's it for the rear of the car, now onto the top of this car. Alright so now taking a look at the top of this car it is quite nicely detailed. So first of all you can see the spare wheel actually features on this car. This Hot Wheels design actually does have an interesting look to it. The rear window has actually been kind of modified and now obviously there is a slot for the spare wheel. The spare wheel is created using the black interior plastic, nice to see that there. It's actually um, kind of like a Hot Wheels wheel but it's been flipped over so you actually see the rear side. I do prefer that aesthetic because there's nothing worse than seeing a spare wheel on these Hot Wheels cars and then the spare wheel just does not match with the actual wheels featuring on the car. I know it would be a very impossible thing for the Hot Wheels design team to change on every single release and like you know recolor of it so I do prefer this design of the flipped over wheel making it look kind of anonymous and it doesn't actually have any design to it it could be any wheel choice there and I do like that the final detail here is this roof rack section which is created in the actual metal casting interesting to say that they've done that I'm surprised they didn't use like the interior plastic to create it or you know the window plastic but yeah really interesting design choice but anyways that is really it for the showcase of this car quite a nice casting now let's go on to my final thoughts and review on this thing all right so now it's time for my final thoughts and review on this car i really do like this casting although it will not rank very high in my year review stuff that is simply because this year has just been full of amazing cars which just simply beat this car out although i really do like this car there are a few things which I'm just not happy with though. First of all, the lack of headlight details is a massive thing to me. It's literally one of the only details missing on this car, considering it does receive rear lights through that window plastic. But yeah, they're just missing. I think they would have been better off just having the headlights on this casting popped down, to be honest, because there is really no reason to have them popped up, um, you know, if they're not going to detail them. It just seems a bit stupid and it makes it look like there's a lack of detail. I also am not super keen on the fact that there are no windshield wipers on this car either. It's a very small detail and will affect my score very, very small amounts. But it is missing nevertheless. I really do like this car though. It's quite a funky one and yeah, nice little off-road vehicle. I also find it a bit weird that the roof rack on this car is created using the actual metal casting itself. Usually Hot Wheels will actually use the black interior plastics or even the window plastic to create the roof rack 
but for some reason this one's actually in the metal casting. I think it would look better if the car was painted in black, but with it being in silver it kind of looks a bit weird, and again makes it look a little bit like it's lacking detail. That is a shame. So that really does lead me on to my score out of 10, one of this car out of 10. Personally I'm going to be giving this car an 8 out of 10, simply because of those little things which are missing on this thing. It's still a nice car that I do recommend you pick up, but it's just not my favourite really. It's definitely still a nice one though, and I'm definitely still happy to have this in my collection. But anyways, that's really it for this video, so if you guys did enjoy, make sure to like. If you're new to this channel, subscribe, and also press that notification bell so you're not missing any new uploads. Remember, you can also share this video with any friends, family, and other groups who may be interested in this video. But remember, don't feel pressured to if you don't feel like you have anybody who may be interested. You watching this video all the way to the end means so much to me, and I really do thank you for making it all the way up until this point. But anyways, that is it for this video, so I hope you guys did enjoy, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone.